We're just about to put the finishing touches on our sea bass here in Moose Creek. Joining me now, chef extraordinaire, Gabrielle Asling. How are you? Good, you? Good, good. You have a very, very unique menu here at Knox Fine Dining, and you created it. Yes. That's why I had to introduce you as chef extraordinaire. Thank you. <laughs> Where did the ideas come from? You've got like a, a red deer rack yes. and, and quail. These aren't things that you find on a typical menu. No, uh, it's something that... Uh, I'm classically French trained mm -hmm. that we work a lot with stuff like that, like wild games and mm -hmm. uh, poultry. And, uh, also, I like to uh, get the local purveyors in, which is the Red Deer Rack uh, from Brankley Kill. Okay. I get a lot of stuff from him. So you're uh, buying local when you can? Yes, when I can. Right now, it's almost winter, so it's hard to get the fresh veg and stuff yeah. like that. But. Uh, yeah, when I can, I, I try to do it. Nice to support. And yes. we've got fresh pastas being whipped up today. They smell amazing. These will be sold to local grocery stores? Yes, in Embram. Okay, that's and neat. In St. Albert also. Okay, so I'm letting our pan uh, smoke over <laughs> here. We're, we're going to be uh, making a sea bass filet, right? Yes. Okay, and then we'll finish off ours. So I'll slide it under here. What's the first thing we need to do? First thing, we uh, dry off your sea bass because there's moisture in it. So you want it to uh, get a nice sear on it. And why is the moisture bad? Bad because it uh, you don't get a nice sear on it. It's going to be all mushy and no one so wants mush yeah, mushy exactly. sea bass. Okay. <laughs> so then you uh, salt pepper on top. All right. And then you put it in the flour. And we're going to flour it. Yes. Okay. Can I do it? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Just a spin. Yep. Yeah. Again. That perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then we just put it in the pan. Skin down or or uh, uh, fillet down. Fillet down. Fillet down. Yeah. Okay, woo! So and what have you got it. in your pan there? Just oil. A little bit of oil? Oil. Okay. So let it cook for a little bit, get a nice crust on it, and then we're going to turn it, put it in the oven, and it's good to go. You want to leave it in the oven for about three to five minutes until mm -hmm. uh, it's cooked. Why uh, do you, you need the oven? Pardon? Why do you need the oven? So you, is, like, are you searing it? Just to it finish, yeah, just to okay. finish it up. So you make it crispy on the outside. Yes. You get a nice crisp also on the on the skin when you put it in the oven. Now, do you get this whole piece when you come? Yes. You okay, get the whole so fillet. A nice size so portion. So it's a two two fillet fish, uh, and this is European sea bass. It's not Chilean. What's uh, the difference? <laughs> the difference is one: the European is widely available and cheaper, mm -hmm. which is Chilean is is almost extinct. So that's why we're trying to stay away from the Chilean right now. It used to be really in demand, but. Uh, Starting to be a bad thing because it's starting to be extinct. So rare. Okay. Yes. So what's the the finishing touches? What's the sure. sauce that you've got here? So we got a virgin sauce, which is a cold sauce with a balsamic, mm -hmm. olive oil, tomatoes, fetas, capers, onions, and uh, Italian parsley. It smells really, really good. Do you make this here? Yes. Yes, we do. We make. Uh, Pretty much everything from scratch. The desserts, everything. It's great. From scratch. Okay, so, then, so we've got a blob of our. So then we just top it like this. Mm -hmm. A bit more. Make sure to get some of that sauce in. Okay. All right. And then we just finish with the garnish. You can tell I'm ready. I'm ready to try it. It smells so good. And then we've got some broccoli and some red potato. Red potato? Yeah, red Is potato, red? Part, uh, asparagus, red mm -hmm. bell pepper. So you just finish it off mm -hmm. like that, and it's good to go. So when uh, people come to yes. Knox Fine Dining for the first time, what dish do they have to try? I'd say uh, the red deer or the quail are pretty much my favorites here. Okay. Uh, the sea bass, too, is uh, very special, because not a lot of restaurants have the Euro European sea bass mm -hmm. on there. Uh, for desserts, uh, the creme brulee or the chocolate mousse are our uh, staples. I was eating the creme brulee yes. earlier. Thank you so much for letting us into your kitchen. You're welcome. Um, head to the Knox Fine Dining website for all of the information. Here we go, moment of truth. Perfect. Mm. I love this topping. Mm. Really good, come check it out. <laughs>